U.S. House Representative Nancy Mace says she had intentionally used the term Republic of Taiwan when visiting the island last week. Mace was part of a congressional delegation that made a surprise one-day visit to Taiwan. Upon landing, she shared this update on Twitter, quote, just t- touched down in the Republic of Taiwan. Speaking to CNN afterward, May said that her choice of wording was 100 percent intentional. The first time in two years, the House of Representatives has sent a congressional delegation to the Indo-Pacific region. Republican Congressperson Nancy Mace was part of a delegation of five that visited Taiwan last week. Upon arrival, she wrote on Twitter, just touched down in the Republic of Taiwan. She added emojis of the U.S. and Taiwanese flags and a photo of herself and her plane. And that was sort of my subtle but strong nod to the Taiwanese people, some of their concerns about the aggression by China. Speaking to CNN, May said that the wording of her tweet was intentional. Some people have been wondering whether that was an intentional choice of wording from you. So notable to hear you say yes, it was to call it the Republic of oh, Taiwan. 100, yeah, 100 percent. I've had so many Taiwanese and Taiwanese Americans. I even had a young woman walk up to me in tears, thanking me for 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 doing that. She said the tweet was an act of defiance against Beijing. And it was the Chinese embassy that contacted each and every one of us on this delegation, Republican and Democrat alike, uh, demanding that we cancel this trip. And, and we did not. We advise some in the U.S. against playing the Taiwan card because it will be an ill-conceived attempt that is doomed to fail. Despite China's outcry, Mace showed appreciation for Taiwan in the interview. We appreciate what they're doing. They are an important uh, to our economy and economies around the world, and we want to make sure that their democracy and their freedoms are protected. Representative Mark Takano, who led the delegation, said he was hopeful that visits to Taiwan by U.S. officials will become business as usual again in the future.